we have the uh, DX Engineering 8040 VA-1 antenna um, 30 meter add-on kit uh, set out here. We've just finished putting up the uh, vertical antenna that's uh, a dual band 80 and 40 meter vertical and this add-on kit will of course add 30 meters uh, to the functionality of that vertical antenna. It's fairly simple. It consists of some stainless steel clamps that are they call studded clamps as there are little um, uh, threaded bolts that are welded onto the stainless steel washers. They will allow us then to attach these spacers or standoffs uh, off of the antenna um, uh, primary vertical tube. There's a upper, middle, and lower standoff. Um, the hardware for the uh, uh, various pieces is already sorted out. Here's a wire that goes to the um, feed point and then some plastic uh, insulators and also a little matching network for the top. So that's pretty much the entire kit. Uh, the element itself is this uh, piece of flex weave wire that's tinned and has lugs on the ends to attach to the various uh, standoff items here. So that will be the entire antenna that will stand off to the side of the, of the uh, primary vertical tube of the uh, 8040 VA. We start out with the upper assembly, which is a piece of uh, cut aluminum that's pre-drilled. And we have um, insulator spacers that are, uh, we would install carriage bolts and uh, other hardware to mount this to the upper arms. So I'll be adding the appropriate hardware to the upper arm, to the middle and lower arm, and we'll get that all set and uh, uh, then eventually we'll be adding these studded clamps uh, out here as well to the bottom part of this upper arm assembly so that it can clamp onto the tube, aluminum tube of the antenna itself. So that will be the next step to do some hardware assembly and I'll show you the pieces after we get them put together. Okay, we're getting um, moving along on the installation or the assembly of the, the support arms. We've added hardware. The uh, upper support arm now is this piece here. It has two um, stainless steel clamps on the end to mount onto the antenna. And then there's an insulator on this end uh, which will actually support the upper end of the 30 meter element. Uh, it will hook on to this little eyelet here. And this is the 30 meter element here. It's a coil of flex weave that's been tinned. And then these are what uh, DX Engineering calls hot rods. And they are adjustable by, um, by loosening this wing nut on the end. And when that's been loosened, then the position of the hot rods can be moved in and out to give you uh, uh, the, the ability to tune, finally tune this uh, particular element once it's been loaded onto the antenna. So that's the upper arm. The middle arm is right here, is uh, simpler. Um, a couple of clamps uh, that will mount on the antenna and then an insulator on the end that the uh, wire will be supported by as it passes along. And then finally the lower support arm here, which has some band clamps once again, some um, insulators. Here is a wire that's been threaded through and that will allow uh, us to lock this wire in position after we get all of the additional hardware installed. So I'll continue with that and pretty soon we'll have the completed assembly and we'll be ready to go out and mount it on the antenna. We've finished the assembly process and now have the completed upper, middle, and lower support arms. This is the lower support arm. It's the most uh, complicated of the three. And it um, clamps onto the three inch diameter tube at the base right above the feed point of the antenna. And then we have um, these insulators that have bolted onto this arm. The lower one holds a wire that will attach to 
one of the studs, one of the bolts on the ground plate and then the other here will actually rotate like this. Uh, there's a spring uh, which will allow the uh, tension of the wire to be maintained as the antenna may flex and uh, it is all connected together here um, uh, on the stainless steel bolt. So after we get this mounted on the base of the antenna we'll be uncoiling this, uh, tilting the antenna over, mounting the other uh, support arms onto the antenna tubing at their appropriate location and then stringing the uh, wire up to the top um, and support arm. And uh, then finally whatever tuning is necessary will be taken care of by the hot rods uh, that's, that are located on the uh, top support arm. So we'll go out to the antenna and uh, take care of that um, process. Okay, here I am out at the uh, antenna site and I've mounted the um, 30 meter add-on uh, standoffs to the base of the antenna. That was done while the antenna was standing erect. And you can see the two band clamps near the feed point um, right at the base of the antenna. And then the arm, the lower arm, stands out. And there's a black insulator that carries or kind of positions the wire as it goes down to the radial plate. Another one that extends outward and then uh, one that extends upward from that arm. Now I'll, I'll pan up here and hopefully you can see the wire as we go along. So there's the center arm and there's the upper arm and let me zoom in a little bit on that. And the upper arm has those hot rods and uh, also the um, insulator that holds the top end of the little um, um, flex weave wire. So I connected that using a carriage bolt. Let me climb back down again. Uh, fed it through the insulator on the center arm. And then at the bottom there's a spring right at the base of that uh, insulator and that spring then takes up any slack that might occur should the mast flex during a heavy wind. So it's rather simple. Uh, it only connects to the antenna at the base plate uh, right here, um, the radial plate. And uh, so I uh, positioned the hot rods on this setup so that the, the butt ends or the inside ends of that hot rods extended about three inches past the bolt that holds them down and I uh, had the same distance for both each of the hot rods and just set it there as an initial setting. I then set up the um, antenna analyzer and found that it was uh, had a minimum SWR right at 10.1 uh, uh, megahertz so I figured well that was pretty close. <laughs> I connected the uh, coax, went back down to the rig and sure enough I have uh, uh, no measurable SWR across the entire 30 meter band and it seems to be quite active and responsive but being in the middle of the day it's not, uh, the band's not open. I can hear signals within the US but uh, not much more at this point in time. So it took about an hour and a half to um, install all the way from uh, assembling the parts uh, to putting it on the antenna. It was very simple, straightforward. The instructions walk you right through it. Um, very, very uh, simple and nice way to get on 30 meters. So that's about it um, for the uh, 30 meter add-on uh, element for the Thunderbolt uh, 8040VA-1.